Throw it harder, Dad! Okay, here we go! I got it, Dad! I got it! Oh, sorry, bud. I heard the baby cry, so I came in to check on him and your mom. He just needed a diaper change and a bottle. Isn't that right, cutie? Cutie? I'm gonna stay inside and make sure everything's okay. But what about playing catch? Maybe another day. Okay, sport? Okay. Mama? Daddy? <laughs> I just fell off of a chair and I hit my head. I broke a glass and no one even cares that I'm in here crying. My mom and dad don't love me anymore. They just love the baby. No one cares about me. Mom? Yes? I just fell down and hit my head. Oh no. Do you guys even care? Honey, your mom and I are taking care of the baby right now. But I broke a glass. I hurt myself. If you broke a glass, Forrest, you need to clean it up so no one steps on it and gets hurt. But I don't know how. Forrest, honey, can you just figure it out? We have a lot going on right now with the baby and needing to take care of him. Fine. No one even cares that I got hurt. My mom and dad are so mean. I hate my brother. He takes all of their attention away from me. I cleaned it up. Good. Great. Now what? Why don't you go play upstairs until it's time for dinner? But dinner's in like five hours. What will I do for five hours? You could watch a movie or play Roblox. Forrest, we don't care what you do. Just entertain yourself for a few hours so we can take care of your brother. Be careful with him! He's just a baby! 
What are you doing, Forrest? They're going to step on him! You have to pay more attention, Forrest! Watch out! Don't step on him! I'm not going to step on him! We're just playing! This is too dangerous! No more playing! Never let me do anything fun. You made the baby cry. No, you did. You took him away from me and we were playing. Don't talk back to your mother like that. Go to your room and play by yourself until we call you down for dinner. Fine. I hate it here! I hate my brother! My family hates me, so I hate them! I wish I could just disappear! Then they realize how much they missed me! That served them right for treating me like dirt! Maybe if I make a bunch of noise, they'll think something happened to me and they'll come running into my room to check on me! Then maybe Dad'll stay and play for a little bit. What are you doing? Oh, he's gonna drive me crazy. They say kids are the reason that parents go gray early. By the time this summer's over, I'm gonna have white hair from all of this nonsense. Go tell him to stop making noise, River. He's fine, let him make noise. He's just expressing himself. You're so cute, little boy. We love you so much. We love that you don't make as much noise as your brother! You're just so cute and quiet! I thought for sure that making noise with the book would make them come upstairs. They must really not care about me. What can I do instead? I know, I'll draw them a picture, and they'll remember that we're a family. Maybe they'll remember how much they love me. You're sleeping. You need to be quiet. I just wanted to show you this drawing I made. Look, it's you and me and mom and the baby. We're a happy family. Oh, yeah. Very good, Forrest. Uh, why don't you go hang it on the fridge and then go back upstairs and play? Will you come upstairs and play with me? Mom and the baby are sleeping, so you can come play. Nah, it's time for me to have some quiet time, too. I'm gonna read a book. You go play outside and I'll call you in when it's time for dinner. Please play with me. Not tonight, Forrest. <sighs> I thought it was a good drawing. I thought they'd like it. Forrest, what are you doing in here making so much noise? 
I cut my foot on the glass. I thought you cleaned all of that up already. I did, but I missed some. <sighs> Look, Forrest, I know this is hard, but your mom and I need you to be the big boy of the house. We have a lot to do, and taking care of your baby brother, ugh. It's time you grow up a little bit and learn how to take care of yourself. It's just for a little while. When he's a bit older, things will go back to normal. The band-aids are in the cabinet over there if you need one. I'm gonna go back to reading my book. It's never going to be back to normal. This isn't fair. No one loves me. Why do I even stay here if they don't even want me in their family anymore? Is there anything else I can do to get them to care about me? There's nothing. I'm all alone. I'm going to run away. Then maybe they'll realize how much they care about me. Then maybe they'll pay attention to me again. I have to live on the street. I don't have any food or clothes. I'm all alone. I'm not even ten yet. I better keep running. I don't want them to find me. Hi, little kitty. Are you all alone too? Where's your home? It doesn't look like you have a collar or anything. Are you a stray? I feel like a stray. Even though I have a home, I don't have parents that love or care about me. They probably haven't even noticed that I'm missing. Let's go, kitty. I'm going to call you Arnold. Good luck, Arnold. You're so cute and fluffy. You deserve the best family in the world. I hope we meet again someday. Oh no, look at those poor flowers. It looks like someone's forgotten all about them. These flowers are just like me. My parents have forgotten all about me, so I'm all sad and lonely just like these leaves. I'm going to water them so that they can live and be happy again. Wow, just a little love goes a long way. I'll remember that. I wish my mom and dad would remember that too. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry, neighbor. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Forrest. Let me help you. Thank you so much for the help. You're always so helpful and just so sweet. You're welcome. I'll be more careful next time and watch where I'm running. Are you crying, Forrest? Is everything okay? I'm okay. I just got hurt. I fell and hit my head. Well, here, let me take you home to your mom and dad. They can help you. No, I'm fine. I'm going to the park. Hmm. Do your parents know you're out here? It's getting close to dinner time and the sun should be setting soon. It's not safe to be out at night all alone. Something could happen to you. My parents don't care about me. They don't care if something happens to me. They only care about their new baby. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. They love you, Forrest. It's just hard to have a new baby and a little boy to care for. They're doing the best they can. 
If they cared about me, they'd play with me. They're just busy, Forrest. <laughs> I don't care, okay? Okay, okay. It's gonna be all right. Go ahead and go to the park, but know that I'm always here if you need me. Get there, Forrest. Stay with me. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. It's all gonna be okay. It was a hit and run. He crossed the street and a car hit him. I didn't see who was driving. He's still breathing. I need to act fast. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll try to save him. Please, do everything you can. <laughs> I think it's time to get this little boy to bed. I just love him so much. I wish he could stay awake and play with us all day. Oh, me too. I'll go lay him in his crib. Why don't you go get Forrest ready for dinner? I can do that. Good night, sweet boy. Forest, time for dinner. Forest, where are you, bud? It's time to come in for dinner. Mom and I are making spaghetti. Hmm, that's odd. I could have sworn he said he was going outside to play. I better go back inside and take a look around. It's time to get started on dinner. Sleep. Where's Forrest? I'm not sure. I called out to him. He and I were playing in the backyard earlier. I remember him saying something about going back outside to play. <sighs> That's weird. He's usually inside before it's dark outside. And now it's definitely dark. <sighs> Can you call out to him again? I've almost got the pasta finished. Sure. Ready, come home. I'm getting a little concerned. He always comes when we call him. Will you go outside and look for him again? I'll finish dinner. Sure, I'll be back real soon.
<sighs> Forest! Forest! Come home! Where are you? It's a mess. I wonder why no one cleaned that up. Hmm. I'm looking for my son. He went outside to play earlier, I think, but I can't find him. Have you seen any little boys running around? Hmm, I haven't seen any young boys out here tonight. I'll keep my eye out for him. If I see or hear anything, I'll give you a call. Thanks, officer. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of apples and carrots on the sidewalk in front of the grocery store. It's a bit of a hazard. Someone might trip and fall. Thanks for the heads up. I'll get it cleaned up right away, sir. Forrest! Are you here at the park? Where is that boy? I shouldn't have been so hard on him earlier. He just wanted to play and I pushed him away so that I could care for the baby and his mom. I'm supposed to love both my kids equally, but oh, it's so hard to give them the same amount of attention when the baby needs me all day and all night. Oh, Forrest, just please come home. I'm so sorry. I couldn't save him. Oh no, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna tell his parents? Oh, this is so horrible! I'm sorry I missed dinner. It's okay. I'm not worried about the spaghetti. I'm worried about finding Forrest. I can't find him, Sky. I looked all around outside. I looked at the park. I looked downtown. I think he ran away. <sighs> My baby! He's all alone outside in the dark. He doesn't have food or a place to sleep. What happened? Why did he leave us? We're gonna find him, Sky. I just know it. I talked to an officer when I was looking. He's gonna look too. But why did he leave us? Why did our baby force leave us? I think it's because I wouldn't play catch with him. We've been spending so much time with the new baby that we've forgotten about our firstborn son. <laughs> We're horrible parents. We aren't horrible parents. We're just a bit distracted. If something happens to him, I'll never forgive myself. Me either. Then what are we doing here standing around and talking? You're right. I'm sorry. Please find your son. I will. <gasps> Sky, River, I don't know how to say this, so... I'll just say it. I have found your son. He was hit by a car earlier this afternoon and transported to the hospital. He... he didn't make it. The doctor did everything she could. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My baby! No! If I had known when I ran into you earlier, I would have told you. I swear. Did it happen outside of the grocery store? 
Yes? How did you... The apples and carrots. What's that? Please, take me to him now. Follow me. I'll be back, Sky. I can't do this. This is a nightmare. remember him, but he was the best son we could have ever asked for. I love him so much and I never got to tell him enough. I'm going to miss him more than anything. <laughs> Never told Forrest he couldn't play with a baby. <laughs> They're just being friendly, like siblings. Oh, my heart. Brother drew this picture for your father and I, see? It's me and your daddy and Forrest, and there's you! We're such a happy family! We'll never be a family like that again. Give you a moment alone with Forrest to say goodbye. I'm so sorry. I'll never forgive myself. We've been spending too much time with your baby brother and not enough time with you. Forrest, we love you so much. I'm so sorry, River. I did everything I could to try and save him. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for everything. I know you tried your best. He seemed like a beautiful son. I just... I don't know how we're gonna go on living without him. I know nothing will ever make this better, but I thought you might like to talk to the man who found your boy. Maybe it'll help you get some closure. Hi, River. Oh, it's it's our neighbor. I can't believe it was you. Thank you for finding our son. I just wish we'd been able to celebrate his life together instead of mourn his death. This pain's too much, and Sky's hurting more than you and I could ever know. 
I tried. I tried so hard to help him. He told me he was on his way to the park, and I could tell that he was upset. I just... I couldn't get him to tell me anything else. I understand. You did your best. Thanks. Even to the last moment, he was just such a sweet kid. He bumped into me on accident, of course, and he helped me pick up the apples and carrots I just bought from the grocery store. He was upset, but he still took the time to stop and help me. God, he was always so selfless. He was just such a good kid, and Sky and I didn't tell him how proud we were. Every single day, nowhere near enough. What's... what's happening? I've never seen anything like it! <sighs> Hi, Dad. My boy, is it really you? You're... you're back! This is a miracle! <laughs> Forrest, I'm so sorry. I'll never... I'll never be able to say sorry enough. I just... I hope you can forgive me. I just... I love you so much. I love you too. Dad and I forgive you. I know that you were just trying to take care of the baby. I know, but we never should have sacrificed spending time with you to be with him. <laughs> no one's gonna believe me when I tell them what happened here tonight. Wow, welcome back, Forrest. Thank you, neighbor. You tried to save me. <laughs> I tried, but I clearly didn't succeed. No, you did. I'm here and alive. If it weren't for you taking me off of the street, I would have never had the chance to find my way back home again, so thank you. <laughs> I'm just so happy you're back, Forrest. Wait until Mom sees you. She's gonna totally freak out in the best way possible. Come on, let's go. This is the best day of my life. Mine too. <laughs> what happened? It was a miracle. One minute he was laying on the bed not breathing and as cold as ice, and the next minute he's sitting up taking a deep breath and saying hi, Dad. <laughs> He'll never take you for granted again, Forrest. Never, ever, ever. I love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> We love you too, sweetie. So, do you want to go outside and play catch? Hmm. <laughs> but Dad, it's the middle of the night. I don't care. I'll do anything you want. We're just so happy that you're home. <laughs> I think I just want to stay inside and be with my family. And maybe have a snack. That sounds wonderful. Let's just sit here and be together. That's a great idea, son.